Sure, no problem. I can raise my sword. I've already lifted it up before. So anyway, e hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Shadow of the Colossus for the PlayStation 2. I already said that in the intro video, but I thought I would say it here in case you skipped over to part one because the intro was long and what, what not, and yeah. Alright, I'll be on my way then. So, move with the control stick, you know, left one, analog stick. And uh, you're going to give me a little tutorial explanation as you wander around here if you would like to. Yeah, I said wander there, sort of a mini pun there. Oh, look at that, you can press triangle to jump. Whoa, what can you do with that? Well, you could, you know, perhaps jump on your horse there. But if you were to stand in a sunlit place as directed, you can press the circle button if you have your sword out. So you can change your weapons with the uh, control pad left or right. Like, I'm, I got a bow, got a sword, and I've got just regular old hands. But I want the sword. If you stand in the sunlight, you will be able to see... Ah! <sighs> Camera, adjust yourself for brightness. See the way the beam is pointing to? Yep, that is where you've got to go. Um, R1 is like the hand, I guess you could say, and also like a ducking action, but mostly it's going to be used for your hand. I like to call it the hand. Where did my horse go? <laughs> but anyway, we're, uh, yeah, uh, the R1 button is used for a lot of actions throughout the game, like picking stuff up mainly. Uh, and that gauge at the bottom right corner that I just lost health on is, yeah, my health. Oh, there you are! You ran off on me. Well, anyway, why I explained uh, why the what the R1 button is, is because when you're next to something and you jump towards it, you can press that button to grab onto it and you'll climb or grab onto said thing. And it's much, much easier to get on top of your horse that way than it is any other way, in my opinion. So, yeah, get a little explanation there. Just basically continue move the control stick and mash the X button to accelerate. It's all good, and, uh, huh. Oh, yeah, I've also got a map here. I guess I'll show that as long as they brought it up on screen here. This map's kind of weird. If you look on the side here, you see you've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but look, look at where A is at the bottom left corner there. Why is it off the map? And why Why did he even bother to put a 0 there? I, I, I don't know, but there is a J uh, off to the other corner, and all this cloudy, foggy stuff will be... Uh, you know, taken off the map as you clear certain areas, uh, you know, explore certain areas, and whoa, look at this tree here. A, maybe we should check out this tree, and maybe I should have got closer with my horse, but whatever, my horse, Agro, is faithful to me, and will come to me if I press the X button when it is not around, and look at this mossy stuff. I think I'm gonna jump up on there and grab onto with R1 and climb up here! Uh, eh, I'm going to need a shower after this. This is kind of filthy. But I got to climb up here to show you something. See, there's a... I wasn't completely up there. There's a couple of... Like, see that? Look at that little droplet over here at the... See the little yellow thing? Yeah, right over there. That's a piece of fruit. There's various kinds of fruit across the land. And what you got to do when you see this, don't worry if you lose health, by the way, if you if you fall from high places, unless it's too high because your health automatically regenerates. But anyway, what you want to do is get out your bow and whip it out with the square and aim at said piece of fruit and shoot it out of the tree. Shoot it out of the tree. I don't even know if I'm aiming at the fruit because it's, I'm kind of having a bad angle at this thing. Uh, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> it's a little finicky, I assure you. Uh, uh, but uh, it's definitely something that you can do. And oh, I just noticed I was aiming at the wrong spot. Derp a derp! <laughs> So anyway, uh, as I was saying with the R1 button, you can eat things with that. Again, a little bit finicky. The game's controls are a little finicky, but anyway. Uh, when you pick it up, see your uh, life gauge there, your health just started glowing there. Well, you increased your health a little bit, and that's the point of collecting the fruit. And yeah, he's way over there. It's, it is sometimes hard to see... Why are you doing a dance? 
We're not... We're not playing Dance Dance Revolution here. We're adventuring! <laughs> but anyway, let's move on here after having that fruit mishap early on. That's a fantastic start. But <laughs> it is sometimes hard to see the fruit in the tree because of the leaves and whatnot. So I confuse a piece of fruit for some lighting. But anyway, this is the place that the light leads you to. You know, when you hold up the sword like that. Got a little cutscene here. Ooh. Ooh, something's up there. And we've got to abandon our horse. Don't worry, don't worry, it'll be fine. Now we gotta climb up stuff. Yeah, this is where they would normally tell you, hey, yeah, you can use R1 to grab on the stuff. And yeah, when you wanna jump up, you hold your jump button, which is triangle. And yeah, you can do that sort of thing. And you also do other sorts of acrobatic actions, which I'm going to be show you. Uh, very shortly, because this is sort of the, kind of the tutorial of the game, so yeah, it's a good place to show said actions and, you know, make mistakes, stuff like that, because there's not much pressure, and oh no, oh no, oh, oh, there's another move, so you press R1 to crouch, and oh yeah, you can roll under stuff, isn't that cool? Yeah, acrobatic one, taught. And we got another acrobatic thing coming up here. Uh, the controls, as I said, are a little bit finicky, so they definitely take some time to get used to, but they become second nature uh, over time. And look at this, look at this, oh no. Oh, so there's something else we can do here. You can pull apart, I mean pull away, and look at that, oh yeah, you can jump towards stuff on the other side, and that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and it looks like we've already made it to the top. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Holy poopers! It's massive! This... This must be... One of the Colossi. Yes, its name is Valus. And we've got to figure out how to defeat this bad boy here. And you also get a little tutorial on the controls there. So yeah, you can zoom in like so. And by the way, another thing that you can zoom in with is uh, if you have the bow out and you have the like so, you can press R2 and you'll be able to zoom in a little bit like that, which makes things a little easier. Let's get its attention here just for kicks. Just to tick it off a little. See, it's got its life bar at the upper left corner there. It goes down fractions. That's, so it's kind of kind of useless to attack with arrows and stuff like that. But it's good for uh, distracting things like that. But anyway, what you want to do here is get out your sword. Because, uh, well, I'm waiting for Dorman to say something here. <laughs> Come on, say it. Maybe I have to be close enough to... Oh, we got the boss battle music! Well, Colossus battle music. It's not really much of a boss, because it's a pretty easy first thing. Although, I gotta admit that I died on it my first time, because I wasn't used to the game's controls. Uh, that's pretty much its only attack, besides its stomps. Ah, there we go, that's the thing that I was looking for. Doorman gives you little hints during your fights with Colossus. So look at that, you see it points towards the leg? Now let's go on to said leg and see if we can do something about that. Let's exploit its weakness. And you can only really see the weakness when you have the ancient sword out. So yeah, that's why I said to get the sword out. Even though you're gonna have to switch between weapons on, you know, other Colossus as you go. It's, it's you know, the game gets harder as you go along. Anyway, grab onto the fuzziness and look at this greenish, bluish, tealish uh, thing here. Well, stab it with your sword by... Yeah, that's gonna try and shake you off. Stab it with your sword with the square button and it'll be like, ah, pain. Keep stabbing it until a cutscene happens. Yeah! And now it's stunned enough for you to climb up it! Ugh! Hurry up to its midsection before you run out of stamina. See that circle that's gradually shrinking at the bottom of my corner? Yeah, that's your stamina. We can increase that if we go, but uh, it's so early in the game and the way to increase it is so out of the way that I didn't even bother to do so, but that, it's okay. It's the first Colossus. It's really easy, tutorial-ish easy, and uh, whenever you reach one of these pla- oh! Whenever you reach one of these platforms here, you might want to climb up and uh, just wait it, wait it out, wait for your stamina to recover, because while you're grabbing onto stuff, your stamina gradually decreases. See how it's rotating counterclockwise? Yeah. 
And, and if you run out of stamina, you will fall off of whatever you're holding on to, and you have to start all over from the beginning. So it's very important that you keep your stamina up. And look at that glowing spot on its head there. And yeah, it keeps trying to shake you off, but don't worry. If, if you fall off, uh, just let your health recover, you know, because you're going to take damage if you fall off. Just run away, let your health recover, and then uh, begin your ascent up to the top of Valis here all over again. Just keep holding... That yeah, yeah, yeah. let me up, let me up, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me up. I know I was messing around for the sake of the video, but seriously, let me up. <laughs> All right, so now what you want to do here is recover your stamina because you are taking a lot of time to explain things. Now, <laughs> now you wouldn't be the one explaining things. That was all me. So uh, when you're not grabbing onto things, you will recover your stamina naturally. And that's, that's why I keep releasing the uh, R1 button there. See, there we go. Now we're back up to max. Now, what you want to do when you stab his head is to press the square button and hold it. Well, not necessarily hold it, but I mean tap it and then release it as late as you possibly can. The longer that you wait to press the tr uh, square button again, you will do more damage. Though there is a limit to how much damage you can do per sword strike. Uh, the, you can do a lot more just by waiting it out, and since it's, you know, first Colossus again, as, as, as I was saying, it's, it gives you a lot of opportunities to do stuff, and yeah, it's... Ah, pain! Ow, oh, my head! And I'm gonna recover some stamina here. <laughs> and I honestly should stop explaining so much, you know, and actually get on with this, but, uh, you know, I just... Just what I do in the first parts of a walkthrough. <laughs> it's, I'm not having any trouble with this guy or anything like that right now. It's just that I've got stuff to explain. I like to get it done and over with early on the walkthrough. So then we can have some uh, super fast movements later on. Got it? Good. And this should take care of it. There we go. See, if I did that all along, I wouldn't have been able to explain things. <laughs> It goes down really fast when you start really wailing on it with the sword like that. Woo! Success! Oh, 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 what's that? I better run away! Get out of there! It doesn't look safe! Get, go, 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 go! Run, 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 run! Oh!